If you have strong opinions on Disney, then listen up. CEO Bob Iger, who is basically unfrozen Walt Disney, announced that the studio has quietly scrapped some movies mid-production. At no point did he ever refer to the project cuts as Disney Minus. Big whiff for the bobber. He didn't say which movies were cut, but a lot of people think they were the Marvel movies because of superhero fatigue, which is a condition where grown-ups don't need to see 15 goddamn movies about a kid dressed like a f***ing spider. The movies rumored by me to have been taking out of production are... Finding Nemo's Body, Old Yeller, The Revenge, The Eastern European Reboot, Honey, I Sold the Kids, Homeschool Musical, The Emperor's New Allegations, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of Johnny Depp's Divorce Proceedings, Newsies, The Fall of Print Journalism, James and the Giant Class Action Lawsuit, Toy Story 5, Buzz and Woody Storm the Capitol, To Liberty and Beyond. But don't worry, Disney heads, you'll still be able to find all the original titles on Disney Plus until World War III kicks in later this year. What's the difference between jam and jelly? Well, one 60-year-old from Texas seems to think it's that you can't jelly an antique makeup brush up your own butt. This senior stinker has been arrested for allegedly wearing kilts into antique stores, shoving antiques up his anus, and then placing the antiques back on the shelves for unsuspecting shoppers to purchase. The old panhandle test drive. It's a big day in Texas when wearing a kilt out isn't the most embarrassing thing you do. It wasn't hard to track down the contaminated items, because store employees said that they all smelled just a little bit worse than regular antiques. Apparently the kilted one likes going to antique stores because he finds it calming to be in a room where trombones aren't the only rusty things. When asked why he does it, he said, it's the only way I can get hard to find antiques. Up my butt. Next stop for our antique mule, maybe prison, where the 60 year old might be hoping that he's not the only one that likes antiques shoved up his butt. RFK Jr. stopped by the Flaker podcast this week to talk to Schultz and the gang about bad connections. And he wasn't talking about cell phone service. You just announced that you were on Epstein's flight. I mean, I knew Harvey Weinstein. I knew Roger Ailes. I knew O.J. Simpson came to my house. On yeah. the, Bill Cosby came to my house. Robbie, stop talking. You're digging yourself deeper. You also knew you, good people. Yeah, we just I, I know. <laughs> you know if you didn't have a PR person there to cut you off, you just would have kept going. I've spent time with Woody Allen. Allen, Mel Gibson, Jeff Dahmer, Kim Jong-un and I weren't close, but we had friends in common. Michael Jackson, Katherine Heigl, Freddy Krueger. I used to play golf with Russell Brand, Kid Rock, and the Ebola virus. Roseanne Barr, Chris Brown, Mothman. Danny Masterson's 40th birthday was a blast. The smoke monster from Lost. Sure, I shared a beach house with Paula Dean. I once tongue-kissed Chuck Manson's sister. El Chapo was a chap of mine. I've seen Mussolini's peenie. And of course, a lot of people don't realize this, but I am also Robert Durst. 